In a poetic setting of lush greenery and a tranquil pond on the outskirts of Antwerp, the house brass, designed by DDM Architecture, was conceived to adapt to the surrounding nature and changing seasons. A pond wraps around one end of the house, reflecting its facade on its flat surface and concealing an underground entrance that seems to disappear into the lake. The concrete ramp provides access to an underground parking area and technical spaces. Named House Bras due to its location in the municipality of Braschat, the house was clad with muskelkalk stone slabs. These elements come in three different sizes and are arranged in a timeless Roman pattern, allowing the roofs and facades to merge, enabling the house to blend into the landscape like a solitary stone in a lush forest. House Bras has an angular S-shaped plan divided into three main areas. The inviting living area with an open kitchen, a wellness zone with a pool and sauna, and a resting wing with bedrooms and a music room offering a panoramic view of the lake. In the first part of the house, there is a spacious living room with a separate kitchen alongside. Decorated mostly in dark tones, the kitchen and its black, sturdy design contrast with the lighter shades of the ceiling and floor. The meandering plan allows daylight to penetrate during all seasons and at any time of the day, while achieving unobstructed views of the garden. A sauna and a long swimming pool with a floor-to-ceiling glass wall allow a view of the garden and evoke the feeling of being in a spa deep within the forest. This lake reflects the facade of the long residence resembling a sleeping crocodile at the water's edge. The two-story glass facade is like a wide open mouth, ready to devour any visitor and to welcome us, to tell us its story. The third area is clearly the centerpiece of House Bras, a double height music room overlooking the lake, while the opposite wall is covered with a dark larch veneer. The larch veneer wall gently contrasts with the aesthetic line of the house's facade. Glazed passages seamlessly connect the zones of the house they guide visitors along blocks clad in dark larch veneer to additional spaces, stairs, pantry, entrance, and bedrooms. And while we stand in this impressive room, admiring the lake through the enormous window, suddenly we realize we are right in the middle of the enormous mouth of the sleeping crocodile. It has swallowed us whole, but we have no desire to escape. The gigantic forest stone has kept us under its spell all along. The master bedroom occupies a mezzanine level above, allowing for contemplation of the crowns of adjacent trees.
In constructing this house, renowned Belgian architect Dirk de Meyer sought to make it invisible. Instead of implanting a foreign body in the idyllic forest, he aimed for something that would integrate as much as possible. Even the fifth facade displays muskelkalk stone slabs, emphasizing the monolithic charm of the house. This stone was chosen because, with its veins, cavities, and subtle shades of gray and brown, it adapts to the changing light and vegetation throughout the day and seasons. Embedded in the roof slopes are structural trusses. These allow the large living spaces to be entirely column-free, with unobstructed panoramic views of the landscape. These openings are finished with aluminum joinery. What appears to be the entrance to an underwater world turns out to be a spectacular entrance to the garage. <laughs> 